I'm Vanessa Ho and today I'll be reviewing three different dating apps from three regions. The first app that I'll be trying is Tantan. It's based in China and it's quite similar to the dating apps that we used, uh, including Tinder, Bumble, Hinge and CNB. So you're just swiping left and right and starting conversations using messages. The second app would be Noondate and this is quite interesting because they send you recommendations every 12pm and you're picking one best guy out of two different choices and you earn points with it as well. The third app I'm trying is Goodnight and this is entirely different from what I'm used to. You're starting voice chats with people of up to 7 minutes and deciding whether you like them or not afterwards and this app was started in Taiwan. So this is like my first time spending a lot of time typing in Chinese, which I'm so bad at. Uh, but it's quite interesting to like try to spark conversation in Chinese. It's kind of like tuition for me as well. Um, but the entire experience is quite similar to what I'm used to, so it was very intuitive. I've been speaking to people from like China, and some of them are Caucasians, they're Koreans, they're Japanese as well. So I'm speaking to people like from all parts of the world. So the conversations are like really interesting. The two fun features that Noondate has would be the daily recommendations and there's literally a notification that pops up to say here are today's cuts. These are like top picks and at the bottom you can even pick like top picks based on personality profile like your MBTI which I thought was like really interesting because I would really want to date someone who's like maybe an ENTJ. So I thought that was really fun and the most specific filter I've seen in any dating app so far. The second one would be like picking um, one guy out of two because it feels like a game. I know that like when you roll reverse this and like guys are picking girls, it feels very douchey. But when I'm kind of picking like between two Korean guys, it feels like a game. Like it's quite fun. So unfortunately, I don't think I'm the Korean guy's type. So I haven't gotten a lot of matches. So have you tried Clubhouse before? Goodnight is kind of like taking the whole Clubhouse context but in a dating setting. So you can get randomly matched with someone to start a voice chat of up to 7 minutes and decide whether you like them or not. Based on my voice chats, it's quite awkward because I feel like a lot of them could be very introverted and maybe that's why they're using dating apps like this. And I'm like very extroverted, I like starting conversations. I don't have the best experience using it because it feels like I'm PRing with someone and having to put a lot of effort to keep the conversation going. The other frustrating part about Goodnight is that you have to wait in queue to get matched with someone. Across three apps, I would say the best conversations I had so far would be on Tan Tan. I feel like people are more open-minded and more uh, friendly there to like spark conversations. So I would say that's probably like the best way to probably meet someone and start dating. I would say good night is something that feels more like a social media where you can join like live streams and have a good time and chatting with people from like all across the world. Noonde is pretty much like 99% Korean guys. So all you girls and guys, if you're going to Korea for a holiday and you want to meet some local guide to bring you around, eat with, party with, I think you can use it to like check out some of the opas out there.